Hmm. The timeless elegance of Bean Nugget. Welcome back, everybody. In the previous episode, we opened the box. And in this episode, we will be eating the contents of the box. But first, I have to name check somebody. I have to name check Heli from Phaser, who is part of the Candy Crew, says, All you need is love, but a little chocolate and candy now and then doesn't hurt. Enjoy. Thankful for sweet friends like you. Isn't that lovely? Ah, Right, let's get on with it. I've literally just done some exercise. <laughs> I look a little bit rough to justify eating all of this sugar. Let's start the party with these. It says open. It's time to get fruity. <laughs> Great. <gasps> There's a party in the bag. Super fruity. I mean, they are like proper full on fruit. Wow, all together, they could knock you out. We've got strawberry and raspberry, lemon, tutti frutti and pear. But because they've got natural colourings in them, you have to think a little harder about what they are. But that there is a pear, which will probably look awful on the green screen. Super chewy. Is it rude to talk while you're chewing on a video? It's just I might never talk again. Hmm. I don't eat the other three at this rate. It's a good flavour. Real deep burst of fruit at the end. Without being overwhelming. It is pear, but it's not very, very pear. So I suppose it's kind of my kind of pear. Which is just as well, because I'm now going to have it stuck in my teeth forever. We then have this lemon one. They all smell like each other. You can't differentiate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Proper lemon sweet flavour. Again, coming through later on, it's not immediate. Not massively sharp. Again, I think with a pear one, I think pears have a slight tartness to them. And lemons obviously have that sharpness, but this doesn't. It's a genuine sweet. Tutti fruity. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave that one and do the strawberry and raspberry one first because I'm intrigued as to what that might be. I'm waiting for it. It's like chilli sauce. Watch my chilli sauce videos if you haven't already. These are not artificially flavoured. If I didn't know that, that one is less natural than the other ones. It just says natural flavouring. There's no indication of exactly how much of the actual fruit is in. There's no percentage of fruit juice. It's quite possible that there isn't. Although with vegan sweets, you tend to find that they do it properly. I'm just getting distracted because I want to tell you that the colourings are concentrate of black carrot, safflower, safflower? sweet potato, spirulina, and apple. So there you go. They started using spirulina to do blue smarties and that's why they're not as blue anymore. Fascinating fact. Right, tutti frutti, what are you? Again, it just smells like sweet. You know, it's sort of slightly licorice you smell, even though it's not licorice and tastes nothing like licorice. I'm trying to identify the fruit, not getting anywhere. I think maybe it's because I've got all the others in my mouth. Pass. Bit of orange, maybe? Don't know. Just tastes like fruit. Bit like I always say that chilli sauce just tastes like savoury stuff. Those just taste of fruit. That's a big bag. I would say more acceptable than Haribo. Is now a good time to admit that I don't really eat sweets? I like chocolate. And I like caramels to some extent and various other things. No, not really sweets. If you offered me Haribo, I wouldn't take them. These, these are more acceptable. I like these better, which is just as well because there's another bag. These I'm looking forward to more. It says this time, enjoy. 
so you better drink and enjoy them. It says open, it's time to get fruity. Oh, it's time to get fruity again. We've got fruity twice. Same flavours, natural colours. Okay. Expecting these to be fizzy. They look like they might be fizzy. It's the apple strawberry one that I'm looking forward to. I've just caught a smell of them. Wah! From back at the pick and mix. Here they are. We've got apple strawberry, kiwi melon, and the dreaded dun dun dun. If it ever gets into focus, it's not even going to get into focus. It's that powerful. That's salted licorice. Ah! So we have kiwi melon first. Again, they're chewy. Mega kiwi. Mega melon as well. Those are much stronger. The intriguing these also have black carrot, sweet potato, carrot, apple and safflower in them. Or two kinds of carrot this time. Does that make them better for you? No, I said that things smell of licorice. This has got licorice extract in it. I didn't notice whether the other one had. I like that more, even though I'm not a huge fan of melon. The kiwi just keeps it in check. Apple, strawberry next. I've been looking forward to this. I like apple flavoured things. Apple and peach flavoured things are my favourite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's a good one. The apple and strawberry flavours taste like apple and strawberry properly. It's like my mouth is filling with fruit juice. That's good. Mm. I really like that. That's great. Now, salted licorice. The question is, do I want to leave this to the end? Because it is the speciality finish flavour that I might possibly hate. I'll tell you what, let's get Captain Marvel to guard that for the time being and we'll come back to it. These intriguing things next and full disclosure I have to tell you that this one the packaging is a lot greener than it looks on film but because of the green screen it's taking the green out of the mint green it's a really bright mint green. Now I was a bit puzzled as to what these were and I thought they might be rock but actually I've discovered you can do that with them so clearly they're not rock. I don't intend to eat all of this. we are bouncing off the walls, especially with the pile of stuff off to one side there that I've still got to get through. <laughs> strong enough to lift weights, but not strong enough to get in a packet. So let's have a look at what comes out of here. It's a bit mysterious. Hello. Oh, it's, it's dark. I wasn't expecting that. Oh no. Oh no, it is, it is licorice. Oh, it's filled licorice. Uh-oh. Right, I said I would leave licorice to the end. I won't leave licorice to the end. That would be ridiculous. I can't keep putting things to the end. In any event, this isn't the salted one, is it? This is lemon. This smells of licorice. I'm not a huge fan, but... Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> but now I am. Mmm, mmm. That's amazing. Well, I've been converted. That's fantastic. The sweetness of the lemon filling knocks out the sharpness of the lemon, but also like the sharpness of the licorice. In fact, the licorice itself is not strong at all. Just a bit. It's getting a bit now that it's stuck in my teeth. My teeth probably have black bits in them for the rest of this now. Oh, that's good. Let's try the mint one. Once we all eat that. That's a bit like eating a fudge bar, a bit made of licorice. Let's try this one. Right, I'm going to have a second attempt here. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yes. Is it the same? Yeah, it's roughly the same. It's just white on the inside instead. Smells of licorice. <laughs> that's a weird one it's overwhelmingly mint it's a bit like 
Kendall mint cake, but in the middle of licorice. It's not the taste that's getting it, because the taste is overwhelmingly mint. In fact, you would hardly know that was licorice. It's the texture of the mint stuff inside the licorice. It just catches you out, especially after the lemon one. Now, I don't like Kendall mint cake, but the overall texture of that is the sort of chewy licorice. I like the lemon one more, but the mint one has sort of refreshed my mouth, which I need after downing all these sweets. So, okay, I could see myself just eating a whole lemon one. Mint one maybe in certain circumstances, like if you needed to refresh your mouth after, I don't know, eating a load of chilli sauce. Speaking of mint, lots of people in the comments like these, the Marianne chocolate filled mint candies. A classic since 1949. How exciting, right. Let's get in these. The red and white is what I think of with the traditional mint. I don't know why. Why is red and white stripes traditionally mint? Why, why do they use red and not green? Oh, wow. Wow, they smell great. It's super chocolatey. Oh, looking forward to this. It doesn't look particularly unusual in any way. I think it's just the the texture on the top that makes it a bit different. I don't know what that is. I was thought it was a fleur-de-lis, but it's got too many thingies to be a fleur-de-lis. Actually, it does have a sort of slightly weird shininess to it. It's a Spider-Man sweet. There we go. That's what it is. I'm going to eat this and become Spider-Man. Fantastic. Get it in my mouth. This is where I discovered that the shininess was an extra bit of the wrapper that I should have taken off. These are boiled sweets. I'm going to be here all night. I have to time how long it takes me to break through to the chocolate here. Damn it. I'm not getting any chocolate at all at the moment. The only chocolate I'm getting is this wonderful smell from this bag. Mmm. Come back later. Oh, there we go. There we go. Didn't take much at all. In fact, if I'd tried earlier, you probably wouldn't have had to have pictures of me sniffing the bag. Mmm. What percentage chocolate that is? Does it say? Does anybody know? Mm, that's a shame. It doesn't say because it tastes quite dark. It says the chocolate contains vegetable fats in addition to cocoa butter. Just in case you were worried, they are very nice. They're not as strong as after eights, and they will get very, very stuck in your teeth. But they're lovely. It says, charming crispy mint with a chocolate heart since 1949. I could hug these. I'm just going to hug these. Thank you, Finland. From one mint thing to another, it's time for some more Marianne. And this time it's her biscuits. These are so good. Some of you in the comments have said they're really good as well. They are Oreos, aren't they? Mint Oreos, but with some mysterious patterns on them. No, no. God, seriously! I'm in. I can smell them properly now. Oh, they smell so good. They smell so much like those sweets, but just biscuity. Here is a full one with Domino on the front and some mysterious shapes on the back. I can only think that it's the Finnish Illuminati. These are getting crumbs everywhere. I do not want to find chocolate biscuit crumbs all over my studio for the next five years. I blame you, Helly. <laughs> okay. They're amazing. They are like Oreo but so much better. Mm. I don't think I've ever had a mint Oreo, but I don't think that any mint Oreo would be as good as that. Mm. I think I want the broken one now as well. 
This looks like somebody else has already taken a bite out of it. What I'm going to do is... No, oh, apparently I'm not going to do that. What I'm trying to do is... Bite off the top, but I can't. I can't. The peppermint crush in the middle of it is so sticky that the biscuit won't separate. And I'm not getting any more crumbs anywhere. Wow. Wow. The best thing about those is the fact I've got so many more of them. Last but most definitely not least, after clearing of both the table and the mouth, are these. The chocolate. They smell superb. One is 70% cocoa with hazelnuts and one is just 70% cocoa. They are vegan friendly and contain flavonols. Flavonols, eh? Well, here's a first because I have never, ever had finished chocolate before. But I might well be finishing all the finished chocolate. It says it's responsibly, oh no, sorry, carefully, carefully crafted with responsible cocoa. Responsible cocoa, does that mean it won't make crumbs all over my table? Oh, it even looks kind of Willy Wonka-esque. I just expect to unwrap this and find a golden ticket. <gasps> there isn't. It's not really. Oh, this is the bomb. The smell of darkness coming off this is glorious. It's all smashed up already, so I'm just going to take a piece out of the middle there. Oh, check that out. There is some sort of pattern, I think, on the other side. I don't know what it is. Oh, the smell of that. Oh, this is just... You can hear the quality. Mmm. Wow. I like my dark chocolate and I like it a lot, as in... I try them from everywhere. But you know what, Finland? I think... I can't believe I'm saying this. I think you win. You would never know in a million years that that was vegan. Don't get me wrong. With the dark ones, it's easier because it hasn't got as much milk in it to start with. But that is absolutely spot on in every way. It takes a lot for me to say this. But I am going to go as far as saying that that is the best one I've ever had. Got that live on video. Previously, it was the Waitrose's 75% Peruvian chocolate. That is stunning. Genuinely stunning. I can't wait to try the hazelnut one now. Although maybe the hazelnuts will interfere with how fantastic the chocolate is. Let's find out. Here we go then. It's new, and if it's anything like that last one... Oh, I'm not going to sleep tonight thinking about this. But what you're supposed to do is actually... It's not that. What you're supposed to do is just rip it open! Surely there must be a golden ticket in this. I feel like I've already had the golden ticket, mind you. No! Oh, that's a pity. Again, it's very smashed up. Or in this one, it looks roughly the same as the last one, but you can see the little bobbles of the hazelnut. So we'll do the same again from the same place. There they are. It's not huge hazelnuts. It's not like fruit nut has massive nuts in it. It's just got little bits. Here we go. I can hardly speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The chocolate itself is so good that the hazelnuts are barely even a thing. The texture is different. That chocolate is so fantastic. The hazel you can't even taste the hazelnuts, actually. If you really like hazelnut, don't bother with that. Nevertheless, even if you do really like hazelnut, you're not going to care about the hazelnuts. Okay, now I'm tasting the hazelnuts. 
It takes a little while to get there because the chocolate is just so damn good. And there's all these little bits that keep breaking off. I swear I'm not doing anything to make them break off. I could eat that all day, but then I'd be running it off forever. I think I might be looking to see whether they do mail order. So what have I got left over? The first is the chilli ones and I'm going to be putting those into a chilli video. The second is the salted licorice ring of death. The third is wiener nugget. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the salted licorice ring of death and then we're going to have wiener nugget because I've got a funny feeling I'm going to need wiener nugget to take the taste out of my mouth. Here goes nothing. I'm getting nothing at the moment. Literally nothing. Bit of salt. Bit of licorice. Bit of sugar. I'm expecting to drop dead at any moment. It sort of tastes like salt and licorice, but independently of each other. But I'm experiencing two different things at the same time here. I don't want to vomit. Now it just tastes like licorice. With a tiny bit of salt. I actually quite enjoyed that. Which is just as well, because I'm going to be enjoying it for the next 20 minutes. Because most of it's stuck to my teeth. It's a bit sweet. Sometimes it's a bit salty. It's a bit licorice -y. It's not offensive. It's not necessarily to my taste. If you don't like licorice, it won't be yours. But um, it's okay. I'm going to need a trip to the dentist, but it's okay. Last but not least, it is time for Captain Marvel to relinquish the wiener nugget. I'm actually quite excited about this. It is the weight of a small brick. Wiener nugget. It says it's soft, smooth and sophisticated. And there are a hell of a lot of them. Delicious phaser wiener nugget has been an integral part of our confectionery offering ever since Carl Faser brought the recipe back from Vienna in 1904. They still want it back. The city's musical culture and reputation for exquisite cakes and biscuits attracted the young confectioner. During his travels, there he discovered the sweet almond nugget candy, and the rest is history. Its unique taste and timeless elegance has made Wiener Nugget the perfect gift for special occasions. Today, Wiener Nougat remains a much-loved classic and new generations as well as old continue to enjoy its enchanting flavours. I hereby enchant you with my elegance. That's some wiener nugget. Ah, there are loads of these. That's the other thing I quite like about Finland. You don't do things by halves, do you? You don't just get one wiener nugget. You get about 50 billion of them. Right. Anyway, let's have a look. I can smell much wiener nugget. It's very almondy. It's also very difficult to get into with one hand. Damn it. No, it's all sticky. There we go. Ta-da! Has that got chocolate on it? No, maybe not. I don't know whether it's supposed to have chocolate on it. As in, not this particular one, but just generally. Let's give it a go. Hmm. The timeless elegance of Wiener Nugget. Mmm, very tasty, but very sweet. I think that's because I've just had the licorice. This is almost like eating pure sugar. Tasty sugar. Mmm, very creamy, as you'd expect. Gritty bits of almond in. It's actually quite layered up. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that. But the almonds are actually layered into it. It almost looks like a little cake. It looks like a little opera cake. It's a very um, buttery substance with sugar and some almonds in it. Mm. It's very nice. It's probably the sort of thing that you'd only maybe want one or two of because they're super rich. Indeed, because they're made for the super rich, probably. 
I can't contain the wiener nugget. Let's just see exactly how much fat there is in this. Because I bet it's tons. Per 100 grams, it's 15 grams of saturated fat. So I am about to have an aneurysm live on camera. I would have to say that given some of the other things that I have tried, they are not my favourites. They're okay, but they're not what I would choose. Because I'll tell you what I would choose. Well, you know what I would choose. Death to wiener nugget. This is the business. There's two of them. Well, I have to say, Popsy, I have had a thoroughly enjoyable time. I am now going to go off around the block and run for about four hours. Largely because I'm on a massive sugar high now, but that was awesome. What a fantastic selection of stuff. And thank you to Phaser as well for putting that box together. It is available on their website. And uh, also thank you to, um, to Marianne, whoever she is, but she kept coming up. I do hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did enjoy it, please tell your friends because YouTube won't.